Aggregate supply is a schedule or curve showing the level of real domestic output available at each possible price level. The relationship is determined on the basis of whether input prices and output prices are fixed or flexible. In the immediate short run, both input prices and output prices are fixed. The input prices are fixed by contractual agreements such as labor contracts. Output prices may be fixed as a result of advertising, catalogs, or price lists that are in effect for a stated period of time, requiring the producer to honor that price in the immediate short run. In the short run, input prices are still fixed, but now output prices are variable as producers have a chance to adjust their advertising and catalogs. In the long run, input prices and output prices can both vary. This figure illustrates aggregate supply in the immediate short run. In the immediate short run, the aggregate supply curve, ASISR, is horizontal at the economy's current price level, P1. With output prices fixed, firms collectively supply the level of output that is demanded at those prices. This figure shows the aggregate supply curve in the short run. The upsloping aggregate supply curve, AS, indicates a direct or positive relationship between the price level and the amount of real output that firms will offer for sale. The AS curve is relatively flat below the full employment output because unemployed resources and unused capacity allow firms to respond to price level rises with large increases in real output. It is relatively steep beyond the full employment output because resource shortages and capacity limitations make it difficult to expand real output as the price level rises. Generally, there's not enough time to build new factories and hire more workers in the short run. AS slopes upward because with input prices fixed, rising prices increase real profits and declining prices result in decreases in real profits. This figure reflects aggregate supply in the long run. The long run aggregate supply curve, ASLR, is vertical at the full employment level of real GDP, QF, because in the long run, wages and other input prices rise and fall to match changes in the price level. So price level changes do not affect firms' profits, and thus they create no incentive for firms to alter their output. In the long run, the economy will produce the full employment output level, no matter what the price level is, because profits always adjust to give firms exactly the right profit incentive to produce exactly the full employment output level. Determinants of aggregate supply are the other things, besides price level, that cause changes or shifts in the aggregate supply at each price level. Changes that reduce per unit production costs shift the aggregate supply curve to the right. Changes that increase per unit production costs shift AS left. References to the aggregate supply in the remainder of the videos apply to the short run curve unless otherwise noted. This figure illustrates changes in aggregate supply. A change in one or more of the AS determinants listed on the next slide will shift the aggregate supply curve. The rightward shift of the aggregate supply curve from AS1 to AS2 represents an increase in aggregate supply. The leftward shift of the curve from AS1 to AS3 shows a decrease in aggregate supply. A change in the prices of inputs, either domestic or imported resource prices, will impact aggregate supply. When the labor market experiences an increase in supply, the result is a decrease in wages, which reduces per unit production costs and increases AS. If the labor market saw a decrease in the supply of labor, say due to older workers retiring, wages would increase and per unit production costs would increase and AS would shift left. Capital and land prices affect AS the same way as labor costs. If their prices fall, the aggregate supply shifts right. If their prices increase, aggregate supply shifts left. These are all examples of changes in domestic resource prices. Imported resources add to domestic supplies and act to reduce per unit production costs, which increases aggregate supply. An increase in the price of imported resources, such as oil, acts to increase per unit production costs, which can decrease aggregate supply. Exchange rate fluctuations can cause changes in per unit costs, too. If the dollar appreciates, U.S. producers will be able to purchase imported resources more cheaply, reducing per unit production costs and increasing aggregate supply. If the dollar depreciates, 
imported resources become more costly, increasing per unit production costs, which decreases aggregate supply. Changes in productivity can cause changes in per unit production costs as well. If productivity rises, unit production costs will fall. This can shift aggregate supply to the right and lower prices. The reverse is true when productivity falls. Productivity improvement is very important in business efforts to reduce costs. A change in the legal institutional environment can also change per unit production costs and thus change aggregate supply. Higher business taxes increase costs for businesses and reduce short-run aggregate supply. Business subsidies lower production costs and can increase short-run AS. It is also costly for businesses to comply with government regulation. More regulation increases per unit production costs for businesses and shifts the AS curve to the left. Deregulation will reduce per unit production costs and shift the AS curve rightward.